to share his views with us the coordinator the psychology coordinator of our college dr avinash kadam sir namaskar good morning everyone i am myself good morning dr avinash kadam coordinator of iqc narayan rao college smriti college uh, model college karanja ghatke welcomes all the dignitaries and participants of this uh, uh, webinar dr kapil singhal sir head of the department english pgtd vasantrao naik uh, government institute of uh, art science nagpur inaugurator honorable professor dr rajesh gore head of the department ushniwal arts uh, commerce science college uh, senga our uh, resource person honorable professor sanganand bagde sir rashtrapita mahatma gandhi arts commerce and science college sauli and the chairperson honorable dr sanjay denote sir principal of our college and all the participant of this uh, webinar who have joined uh, through virtual mode to the state level virtual webinar on communicative skills in english first of all i congratulate congratulate our uh, organizer dr mohan mende sir dr deepak dharne sir for organizing webinar on very good topic our internal quality assurance cell conducting various academic programs for quality enhancement of our uh, higher education in the institution we have organized several webinars and online workshop this year for students and faculty members i thank dr singhal who have uh, delivered very good uh, presentation today's virtual uh, webinar on communicative skills in english is a very important in view of uh, students as well as faculty members in this uh, modern science and technology area era if we want to have professional expertise and work in a professional world communication in english plays very important role english is a global language most of the knowledge and technology in the world is known only through english in this computer era e-commerce e-banking e-governance is possible only because of english language learning english, english language is need of our due to globalization whole world become a big market another thing if you want to increase high uh, our higher prospects of our career we must learn skills of uh, communicative english skills in english has become integral part of our personality in today's world wherein corporate sector and multinational companies demand skilled employees with good communication skills in english it's seen it is seen that uh, the lack of communicate uh, communication skill english communication skills uh, develop inferiority complex among the uh, uh, youngsters i am optimistic that this webinar will generate much needed confidence among students to initiate efforts to acquire communication skills in english i wish all the very best to organizers and thanks them for giving me an opportunity to speak before you jai hind thank you very much over to uh, dr thank you sir kadam sir thank you am i audible yes sir you are audible yes sir yes sir okay okay uh, thank you sir kadam sir a good speech by you now i we are eagerly waiting for the speech of resource person my friend and uh, a intellectual person in the field of uh, english literature and uh, a good study in uh, languages also so i call dr rajesh gore sir for his speech as a resource person dr rajesh yes. gore yes sir yes sir sir i would like to share my screen so i am audible sir mende sir yes, yes you are audible yes sir yes sir so making make me co host so i can share my screen
Share your sir, PPT. Share your PPT. Okay, sir. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You can I'm share your yes, PPT. You are yes, the co-host. Yes. yes, yes. What's my favorite? Yes, sir. Wait a minute, huh? Sir, Dhani, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm doing. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, getting the shared. Shared, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, Quite visible. Sir. Okay, sir. Uh, so at the very outset, I would like to congratulate Department of English and IQSC, Narayan Rao Kale, uh, Smruti Model College, Arts, Commerce and Science, Karanja Ghadge, District Vada, in association with uh, collaboration of 13 institutions for organizing a wonderful one day state level virtual webinar for the students of English language and literature. So this event will be very useful and fruitful in developing uh, the communicative skills of English or uh, any other language. Instead of English, we can say Marathi, Hindi, Urdu. So these tactics will be useful in developing other communicative skills in any regional language. So now here, uh, first of all, I would like to thankful my dear friend and brother, Dr. Mohan Mendes sir for inviting me as a resource person for this one day state level virtual webinar. One day state level virtual webinar on communicative skills in English organized by Department of English, IQAC, Naranao Karis Murti Model College, Karanja, Ghadge, District Varda, in association with the collaboration of 13 institution. So here, uh, the inaugurator of this online virtual webinar, Dr. Kapil Singhel, sir, who is a literary person who has uh, given a nice presentation as an inaugurator at the very outset of this uh, webinar. Then I would like to uh, 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 mention the name of Dr. Sanjay Dhanwate, sir, who is a principal and chairperson of this uh, virtual webinar. And the another resource person, Professor Sanganand uh, Bagre, sir, who is the second resource person for this virtual webinar. And I also uh, mentioned the names of organizers who have taken a lot of efforts to make the event very successful and fruitful to organizing or, uh, or coordinating all the students, resource persons and uh, respected participants and some teacher fraternity. So now here, Dr. Avinash Kadam, coordinator uh, uh, of IQSC, uh, Narayan Rao Kari Smurti Model College, Karanja and uh, Dr. Ganesh Mohor, sir, the coordinator of uh, arts faculty. And uh, then there is Dr. Mohan Mende, uh, coordinator and head department of English, Dr. Deepak Dharne, co-coordinator of webinar. So with this, now I will move towards uh, my presentation. Here I have selected the topic for 
presentation communicative skills in English. So at present, I'm working as an assistant professor and head department of English, Toshniwala Arts Commerce Science College, Sengao District, Hinguli, affiliated to Swami Ramananda Tirith Marathwara University, Nanded. I am thankful to Dr. Deepak Dharneswar for giving me giving my introduction at the very outset of this webinar. Now here, I will start my presentation. So now here, you can see the first uh, part of my presentation is what is communication? As you know, earlier, there is a Dr. Singhal sir has uh, given an elaborate uh, interpretation about communication, how the word communication is came from. The communication word came from the Latin word communicare, means to share your information, ideas, thoughts to other person or people. So without communications, we can say that we are body without soul. If you are not communicate, your message will not be, your life will be uh, meaningful or it cannot be run very smoothly. So communication is a lifeline for effective communication. So now here I have given a general definition. So what is communication? Communication is a process of transforming or exchanging ideas, emotions, desires, and information from one person to another with the help of language. So now here, as you know, language and communications are different. I would like to clear one thing is here. Communication is an art. It is an, a skill. You have to take a uh, certain kind of efforts <laughs> you your communication in any language. The language may be English, Marathi, Hindi, Urdu, Sanskrit, Pali, any language. So you have to uh, you have to take particular time of efforts or waste some time of effort time so you can develop your communications very effectively. And language is different from communication. How it is different? So language can be learned. You can learn English. You can learn Marathi. You can learn Hindi. You can learn any language. But communication is a skill and it requires a particular period of time. If you say, okay, I have learned English grammar. So now I can a good communicator of English. I can say, no, it's wrong. If you have learned a language, English language grammar, even though you are not capable to speak in English. For speaking in English very fluently, it is very important to make some practice to take some efforts so and it will automatically boost your confidence and you are able to be a good communicator of english language so for the good communications what do we require so there are some certain basic skills i will going to share with you in further then now here a process of sending and receiving messages so communication is is a process of sending, sending and receiving messages from one person to another. Without the help of communication, we cannot send and receive messages. Mendes, sir, is, is there anything? Mendes, sir, is there any issue? Hello, Mendes, sir? Are you audible, sir? You yes, are audible, sir. Uh, someone is interrupting in between I think Prajakta Dhote, the name of student, Prajakta Dhote. The next language plays a vital role. Now here, as I told earlier, he, without language, we cannot communicate. Language plays a crucial role in communication. So while communicating language, you should use the simple lucid language that is easily understood by the listener learner of english so language without language we cannot communicate so language is a major tool of communication then now here use of appropriate language while communicating the speaker should use the appropriate use of language language should be simple word should be simple no complicated sentences uh, used while communicating so it will create the hindrance in understanding so while communicating effectively, your language should be correctly used in the context so it can be easily understood by the listener or the audience. Then, now here I uh, mentioned the name of Ben Johnson. He is a great dramatist in literature. And uh, he said, speech is the instrument of society. So now, as I earlier told, without speech or without communication, our life is meaningless. 
So whenever we are living in a society, we need to communicate each other. And for that communication, we require speech. And speech comes through language. So speech is the instrument of society. Without speaking, we cannot live our lives smoothly and cannot function properly in society. Then now here, sender, medium, and receiver. Now here, these are the three major components of effective communication. Without these three components, we cannot communicate very effectively. Sender, sender is a person who sends messages to the receiver. He is encoding messages to the receiver and transforming or transmitting messages to the receiver. On the other hand, you can see there uh, medium. What is the medium? In between sender and receiver, the medium of communication is language. Language plays a role as a medium in communication. And the other side, you can see receiver. Receiver, a person who receives a message from a sender. And after receiving message, he tries to decoding or uh, interpreting the message received from sender. So this is the chain of effective communication, sender, medium, and receiver. With this chain, you can make an effective communication. So uh, I can explain this sender, medium, receiver in further as, now here you can see sender, medium, language, and receiver. Here is a, I have introduced one figure. Now here you can see there are two, there are two persons, they are speaking to each other. Now here you can see he is a sender and he is a receiver, right? So now here the sender sends his message, transmit his message to the receiver with the help of medium and the medium is language. So now here the same process is, uh, it is called as the technique of communications. With this technique, you can make an effective communication. So sender sends a message and receiver receives the message with the help of language and they can transmit or transform their information one person to another. Then now here, the next point is four basic communicative skills. Now here you can also see the figure, four basic communicative skills. Now here one girl who is uh, doing the act of listening and one boy who is doing the act of speaking one girl who is doing the act of reading and the one boy who is doing the act of writing. So these are the four basic fundamental skills of language, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. These skills are known as LSRW skills. These LSRW skills are very crucial for effective communications. If you get the mastery over these four basic skills, you are able to be a good communicator of English or any other language. So you should listen properly. You should speak with the appropriate manner. You should read consciously and you should write effectively or correctly. So with these four skills, you should become a, a commu effective communicator. Now the person, any person having these uh, four abilities, and with these four abilities, he can be a good communicator of English. Then now here you can see the first skill that is listening. Now listening as uh, Dr. Singel says, uh, said, the listening plays a 45% role in your communications. So listening is very important. Listening, without listening, you cannot understand what the person said or the speaker said. Just I'm speaking with you, but if you are not listening me properly, you cannot get what I, I'm going to tell you. So you should listen, you should be pay attentive while listening. Now here you can see the picture, one person is speaking and another person is listening. Now here, a key component of effective communication. Listening is a key component of effective communication skills in English. So while listening, you should have to able listen properly and attentively and consciously of the speaker.
Hello. Hello. I think uh, due to poor connection, uh, Professor Boreser uh, is disconnected to us. Hello, Gore, sir. Are you audible? हेलो गोरे सर Or is that your voice is not coming? Gore, sir, you are not quite audible. Please check your mic. Sir, actually, he is not uh, connected. He is disconnected. He is not in the meeting, I think. Due to the internet connection. Mende, sir, personally call ah. him. Okay, okay.
संगा सर संगा सर यस सर यस सर सर ट्राई टू कॉन्टैक्ट डॉक्टर गोरे सर बाय फोन कॉल ही ओके ओके धारने सर हेलो धारने सर हाँ सर एक्चुअली सर आई डोंट हैव हिज नंबर कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर सो ओके सर आई कॉल हिम ओके संगा सर यस सर संगानंद बागड़े सर यस सर यस सर यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल हेलो हाँ हेलो सर यस सर यू आर यू आर ऑडिबल ओके सर देर माइट बी अ टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इज साइड सो यू नो इन प्लेस फॉर्म इन यू कैन स्टार्ट your session okay okay sir uh, okay sir because uh, we can't wait uh, for longer so in place from okay. you okay. you start the work okay sir okay okay thank you thank you very much uh, first of all i express my profound gratitude to dr sanjay p dhanwati sir principal narayan smriti model college karanja district chandrapur for uh, giving me this opportunity to be a part of this uh, wonderful event uh, respected uh, kapil singhal sir respected dr rajesh gore sir respected dr mohan mende sir uh, avinash kadam sir and all the dear participants i think that uh, most of the students have some concern about Uh, improving their uh, communication skill uh, i'm sure uh, the students from uh, business uh, sorry the students from uh, business management engineering science faculty 
and uh, from various uh, different educational faculties uh, they are having some problem or having some issues regarding uh, what you can say uh, regarding their uh, communication skill in english language uh, as uh, i have been given this topic uh, the communication skills in english language actually most of uh, actually uh, all we all the three resource persons have been given the same topic uh, and uh, there might be some chances of uh, getting uh, the same contents uh, in the presentation also uh, whatever it is uh, i will try to uh, explain uh, this uh, matter this uh, topic <coughs> so i request first of all uh, organizer to give me the permission to share my screen yes sir uh, wait for sir one minute sir yes abhi mumbai sir request to mute their mic mute their mic so is my screen visible sir yes sir yes pagde sir yes sir yes. your screen is visible so so the question arises what is communication skill uh, and uh, the definition of uh, this is uh, the ability to share and receive ideas uh, and feelings or emotions effectively see uh, these two words uh, share sharing and receiving these two words are very important uh, in the process of uh, commun communication skill okay uh, means uh, that only speaking effectively is not the uh, is not the uh, effective communication okay um, uh, while sharing uh, our ideas thoughts emotions at the same time uh, our listening or what we can say that receiving the ideas of other people uh, or uh, the emotions of the other people or uh, thoughts of the other people is equally important in the process of communication skill okay so uh, the, so we can say that uh, sharing and receiving ideas feelings and thoughts uh, uh, that is the communication skill okay uh, i think uh, communication skill involves listening speaking observing and empathizing Uh, it is also helpful to understand uh, the differences in how to communicate communicate uh, through face to face uh, phone conversation and digital communication like email and social media see that uh, um, we have uh, we are we the human being we are the human being okay and uh, we can uh, we can compare that the communication of human beings and the communications of animal okay so uh, we can find some differences between these two two types of communication okay so um, we have we the human being have various mediums of uh, communication skill uh, now as the technology uh, is increasing and the use of technology is increasing so we have various uh, medium of uh, using uh, technology for the effective communication uh, i will say that we are using uh what uh, can say we are using uh, social media facebook whatsapp uh, and uh, many other applications uh, of social media so these are, uh, are uh, again we can say that uh, email writing uh, and uh, that uh, writing blog all these things are the mediums of uh, modern communication skill okay so um, <coughs> 
so again the, uh, again the matter comes that uh, human, human language and animal communication what is the difference between two uh, communication see uh, that human communication communication is um, uh, symbolic okay it is a set of a set number of uh, sounds uh, and characters and uh, symbols okay and on the other hand we can say that uh, animal communication is not a symbolic uh, and uh, the main difference between the two is that animal communication uh, uh, animal communication cannot be recorded as the human communication on the other hand can be recorded uh, for uh, the communication in the past uh, can be recorded so this is the case with uh, animal communication and human communication okay Uh, so essence of communication uh, now uh, what is the essence of communication see that the communication process is it is personal that every individual is concerned with uh, the uh, process of communication skill uh, and this uh, communication skill occurs uh, between the people uh, that uh, this uh, process does not occur with the Uh, with an individual person okay it is concerned it is concerned with the individual person but uh, it cannot be uh, it cannot be occurred uh, between uh, a single person okay so that's why communication communication uh, occurs between people uh, communication occurs among two or more people uh, interpersonal communication is uh, communication between people whose lives uh, mutually influence other persons and typically occurs in peers so this uh, uh, communication occurs among the peers uh, means to influence others uh, we can say that uh, communication is a is a kind of uh, medium to influence others those people who are uh, very much uh, means uh, very much effective in communication skill they took this opportunity to influence other people also so see that uh, uh, whatever the, whoever the celebrities uh, are they are able to influence the other people uh, if you uh, take the names of some um, sandeep maheshwari okay he is a good communicator we can see many a number of videos uh, on the on the youtube uh, we have seen Uh, uh, uploaded by sandeep maheshwari so we can say uh, that uh, this kind of personalities uh, influence the other people with the skill of communication uh, see uh, expression of thought and emotions through words and action um, i will say that uh, communication is also already i have mentioned in the uh, definition of communication communication skill that it is uh, the expression of thought it is a means of uh, expression of thoughts and emotions or ideas from one person to another person so uh, by this way we can express ourselves and we can uh, we can uh, understand other people also with the process of communication skill tools for controlling and motivating people Uh, see this is a very in, uh, import, important uh, most of the celebrities is using their communication skill to motivate uh, the speaker uh, or sorry the listener or audience uh, uh, again uh, one name i would like to mention here that is uh, simarjit singh uh, so you you can you can see a number of uh, number of videos uh, on my youtube channel uh, by some simarjit singh and sandeep maheshwari they have Uh, use this uh, uh, communication tool for for motivating the other people uh, so uh, next see the process of uh, communication what is the process of communication communication uh, is the process of sending and uh, receiving information among people we have already this, uh, seen this in the definition of communication skill uh, so how is this process uh, see uh, that uh, sender uh, sender who is the sender who uh, who is the uh, sorry 
sender uh, who transmit or sends the message okay what is the process of uh, communication so uh, it's it starts with uh, sender he communicates sorry, he transmits uh, or sends uh, the message uh, message which may be uh, thought idea picture or uh, symbol report or an order uh, or posture or gesture so okay so these are the uh, types of messages that Uh, sender send to the receiver okay after after this um, message uh, he transmit this message means uh, uh, there is a process of encoding this um, message okay so uh, the sender is therefore the initiator of the message that uh, need to be transmitted after having generated the idea or information the sender encodes in such a manner Uh, that uh, the message could be transmitted to uh, receiver or that message could be understood or that message could be uh, get into the minds of receiver okay so this is the process of encoding then medium okay so medium uh, what is the medium so when uh, when sender uh, generates the uh, message uh, that the message is uh, Uh, send through a particular medium so nowadays uh, we are we have we are using different uh, mediums different channels are there uh, for example we can uh, if a sender is sending his email to the um, other person so that is email is the medium uh, for sending that uh, message or sending that uh, uh, ideas thoughts or whatever is included in that email okay so this is the medium uh, and after medium uh, sorry after um, after that uh, the receiver received the message through a particular uh, medium when uh, that receiver received the partic uh, particular message by particular medium that message is decoded okay that message is decoded in a particular way means uh, uh, he can interpret that message uh, interpret that message whatever the image is uh, sent uh, through the message or through a particular channel uh, that message is interpreted that message is decoded uh, and receiver get the ideas regarding that message okay so this is the process after uh, receiver get these ideas or get this message uh, so then what is the what is the next process that the receiver uh, give his feedback Receiver gives his feedback to the sender. That is in the form of response. Whatever the sender has, uh, this is the overall process of communication. Okay. Hello, sir. Am I audible, sir? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am yeah, I audible, sir? Yes, okay, yes sir. Okay, exactly. Okay. Thank you. Go on. Go on. So, uh, what is uh, the benefits of effective communication? Actually, uh, see uh, that uh, my topic is uh, effective communication. Sorry, communication in English. Okay, and I am talking about the communication skill. Okay, see that communication skill, uh, communication and uh, language uh, English. communication and english these are two different things okay first of all i would like to say that these two things are different things these two things have nothing to do with each other um, individually okay when uh, communication skill communication is a skill and english is a language so these two are different things uh, that's why uh, while communication uh, is different thing so i am talking only about communication later on i will talk about communication skill in english okay so so benefits of effective communication see building trust so how does this uh, trust is built in? so sorry the trust is built uh, effective communication fosters trust uh, with others your ability to listen Uh, attentively and embrace different points of view helps others trust that you are making uh, 
optimal decision for everyone in the group uh, see that uh, when we are working in a group so at that time it is very necessary that most of the uh, our group members uh, should have um, trust on ourselves okay so trust on uh, uh, the other uh, trust on they should trust on each other okay uh, this should be the environment in the uh, working team uh, so uh, while when uh, while there is a uh, there uh, the effective communication take place when the effective communication take place the um, trust among the other members of the uh, group uh, take place okay so then preventing and resolving problems uh, so preventing and resolving problems the ability to communicate effectively uh, plays a large role in resolving conflicts and preventing potential potential one from arising uh, see when uh, in the group there is a good communication or effective communication so people are able to understand each other and because of this uh, they are able to understand each other and because of this um, so, uh, any kind of conflicts are not uh, arise in the uh, group so that's why uh, it is the benefit of uh, effective communication preventing or uh, resolving the problems okay so the third um, uh, benefit of this uh, effective communication is providing clarity and direction preventing sorry uh, providing clarity and direction with the effective communication skill uh, you are able to uh, deliver clear expect, uh, expectation and objectives from for your team okay you are able to uh, deliver your clear expectation you can uh, explain your expectations from uh, your group members okay so this involve um, finding uh, constructive ways uh, to point out uh, when something isn't working as well as providing full feedback back on track so this is the uh, fourth benefit of uh, what we can say effective communication uh, then uh, promotes team building okay team building obviously uh, uh, with improved communication team members will be better uh, able to rely on each other uh, because of uh, the well communication uh, atmosphere so the members in the group will be able to understand each other and uh, the atmosphere in the uh, team uh, working team or working group uh, will be very good healthy atmosphere and that's why uh, it will promote um, building a team building so these are the seven c's uh, of effective communication uh, see seven c's of effective communication uh, we can see that uh, completeness uh, the first one is completeness means your message should be complete it should not be incomplete message if uh, your message is incomplete uh, it means that uh, the, rec the receiver or listener will not get uh, uh, the eye of the message okay that's why your message should be complete it should not be incomplete okay then conciseness um, conciseness means uh, your message should be uh, in brief okay it should not be lengthy so that uh, it should you should uh, so that the uh, ideas uh, should uh, ideas in the message should be conveyed uh, properly to the listeners okay so this is uh, what uh, your message should be or your effective communication should uh, sorry your communication should be conciseness then consideration so what is consideration that uh, when we are talking or when we are uh, sp uh, speaking uh, at that time we should consider the audience that what is the background of the uh, that uh, audience uh, or a listener what is the what is his view points what we can say uh, what is his educational background what is his mindset all these things matters a lot if you are uh, delivering your lecture in english language and if the uh, listeners are not able to understand uh, your language though, so it doesn't matter so that's why uh, you must consider uh, that what kind of audience uh, is in front of you so that is uh, uh, the consideration is the uh, part of uh, effective communication then clarity so what is clarity uh, clarity uh, implies uh, emphasizing on a specific goal or objective at a time 
okay the clarity uh, there should be clarity of thought uh, and ideas uh, if your uh, ideas and thoughts are clear then it uh, it helps us to enhance the meaning of uh, the message so that's why there should be clarity uh, in your uh, communication then correct uh, concreteness okay concreteness means what concrete information cannot be mis mis uh, misinterpreted okay concrete communication implies means uh, implies uh, being particular and clear rather being fuzzy and general general okay concrete communication shows uh, good level of con uh, confidence uh, and uh, concrete uh, information helps to strengthen the reputation of uh, the organization also okay so that's why uh, concreteness should be uh, in your uh, communication uh, then courtesy what is courtesy courtesy means kindness uh, hot, uh, or uh, what we can say uh, polite uh, or we can, we should be enthusiastic and convincing in our communication uh, courtesy is an important element of uh, effective communication okay uh, courtesy reflects the nature and uh, character of the uh, sender of the message then uh, comes the correctness what is correctness uh, correctness implies that uh, the correct information is conveyed through message uh, greater impact of uh, it creates the greater impact on on the audience uh, free it should be uh, your uh, message should be free from the grammatical errors and use of appropriate and correct uh, language uh, so that's why correct information includes the precision and accurateness of fact uh, and uh, figures used in the message. Okay, these are the seven C's that will help us to make uh, our communication very effective. Uh, path uh, for good communication. What is path for good communication? Uh, see, uh, this, this is the same uh, as we have uh, seen in the pre previous slide. Listen to understand. See that uh, while I, I have already uh, told you that uh, only speaking effectively is not a, is not a good communication. Okay, so you must be a good listener also. That's why uh, when you are a good listener, you can be a good communicator also. Okay, if you are not a good listener, when when someone is speaking with you uh, and you are not getting uh, and uh, you are, your attention is some some somewhere else uh, at that time, what happens that um, what the people uh, what the people in front of you uh, are saying, uh, you will not get the ideas later on. Okay, so that's why listen to understand means you must form the habit of uh, listening. Uh, then um, understanding before speaking. Once you understand what the other people uh, is saying, uh, then uh, understand. Um, then uh, then uh, you have to give your feedback. Okay, so first of all. You must understand what the other people is saying. Then speak to be understood. It means that you, uh, whatever the message you are providing to the listener, that should be uh, understood by the listener. Okay, it should not be as we uh, as we have seen in the seven C's of uh, effective communication. Uh, this is the same case with this also. Uh, speaking to be understood, you must convey your message uh, that will be easily understood by the listener. Then comes the uh, seek. Uh, then comes uh, seek understanding before uh, proceeding uh, and repeat. This is the process that is repeated in the path uh, for good communication. So this is all about the uh, what we can say communication skill. Okay. Now uh, I will say communication skill in English. Um, what is communication skill in English? See, um, first thing that I want to uh, make clear is that uh, good communication does not mean uh, knowing English language. I have already told you that uh, knowing English language and uh, good communication is two different things. Okay, if you know good English language, it doesn't mean that you are a good communicator. Okay, um, even if you are uh talking in your mother tongue and if you are able to express yourself in a very good manner so you can uh, we can say that you are a good communicator um it doesn't matter that uh, in, if you know english language uh, 
okay many people have a misconception that if i have learned english means that i have uh, also learned to communicate uh, in fact i will say that even after learning good english your communication can be pathetic okay english is just a medium it is just a medium for your communication english is a language and communication is a skill so this is the case um, Uh, to improve communication skill in english one must master the english language okay if you are uh, a good communicator and if you want to uh, if you want to communicate in english language then then only you have to master your uh, english language okay otherwise you cannot uh, your communication in english in english cannot be effective um, what's important about uh, english okay well <laughs> well the communication communication uh, is the main aim of every every uh, foreign language learner okay so english is a second language or we can say that it is a foreign language so our main aim is to communicate in english language also as uh, we may be a good communicator in uh, our mother tongue but it is also important that we should be a good communicator in english language also because as the importance of english language is increasing day by day in the present context uh, so that's why it is very necessary for us to um, improve our communication skill in english language also uh, <coughs> sorry uh, english is a lingua franca meaning it is a bridge language okay see that english is a lingua franca meaning it is a bridge language when two people who speak in english this is why english uh, sorry uh, when two speaker in english language uh, in different uh, non english language meet very often the common language they use to connect in english even we can say that uh, when this uh, english language is made as a compulsory subject uh, in almost all over the world in school education okay so why this happen why the people all over the world is giving so much importance in, uh, to english language so uh, this is the reason that english has become a global language today um, english is taught in many schools around the globe and uh, why uh, many international uh, corporations are officially mandating english uh, communications for employees in all global location english is the common language of navigation also okay uh, it is also the language uh, which is used for air traffic controllers uh, it is also used for the airline uh, by the airline pilots uh, and it is the most common language used by the uh, on the world wide website see um, when we are using internet uh, or using uh, any website also so you can see that uh, uh, most of the most of in uh, i will say that almost all the websites are using english uh, as their language uh, of communication okay uh, and uh, when you download any any applications in your mobile or in your laptop so um, by default english language is selected later on you can change that language but uh, by default the english only english language is selected there uh, so uh, that's why uh, too much importance Uh, is given to english language means it is a global language uh, english is spoken by around 2 billion people today uh, as a native language english ranks third okay but if we uh, but if it is a number one language learned by uh, speakers of other language means all people all over the world is trying to learn english language not uh, any uh, not the other language such as chinese or russian language 
but they are trying to learn english language okay so that's why uh, the people around 2 billion people today they are able to speak english language four skills to master okay uh, these are the four modes of uh, effective uh, communication in english language reading writing listening uh, and speaking uh, see that uh, uh, reading uh, the, the better equipped you are to thrive only socially and professionally reading comprehension increases fame uh, you often read okay how how can you master the reading when you are reading often and often and only at that time you are able to uh, master the uh, read, reading also okay especially if you read a variety of material uh, you can uh, you can uh, read uh, novels you can read uh, magazines you can read journals you can read uh, newspapers also so the uh, by by that way you are able, you will be able to uh, increase your this uh, reading skill okay so uh, equally is important uh, the skill of writing also for effective communication in english um, as uh, gore sir has uh, already mentioned that these all these three uh, four skills are uh, very important and if you master all these skills so you will be a good communicator in english language also so uh, uh, i uh, so this is a writing so uh, what is what is writing how will you uh, learn to write uh, so this is also very important thing uh, see that uh, do a little every day means you should write every, uh, you should write uh, something at least every day at least half an hour you should spend your time uh, while writing something Uh, write your imagination, whatever the imagination um, come to your mind, uh, or you can uh, also form the habit of writing uh, day uh, diary, uh, personal your personal diary, writing your personal diary. You can uh, write uh, that di- in that diary your personal experiences uh, of uh, every day. Okay, so this is how you can um, master the skill of writing. and then listening listening uh, as uh, we have already seen about the listening skill uh, see i would like to explain one uh, one game game uh, about listening uh, that um, <laughs> a person so, sorry a group of five people okay there are a group of five people or we can say that there are a group of five members Uh, the first uh, second third and fourth and five okay so, uh, so these uh, are the five members of the group uh, first person pick up uh, a page in the box there is a inscription in the page and uh, he memorized that sentence okay then he put that put that page in the box written then what happens that first person go to second person the first person goes to second person and he uh, speak that sentence in the ear of second person then second person go to third person third person go to fourth person fourth person go to fifth person this uh, process is completed that one single sentence is repeated in the ear of the all the four people uh, remaining four people okay when the fifth, per, uh, fifth person uh, uh, return or uh, he went to the first person and he uh, repeat that sentence in the ear of uh, that uh, first person so the sentence is completely changed and the meaning is also completely changed why it is only because of the poor listening because uh, that first person whatever uh, he uh, read uh, in the in that page uh, that is uh, he he is not able to uh, so, or he repeat that sentence uh, in the uh, in the second person to the second second person but he is the second person is not able to uh, tell whatever he 
uh, right he uh, listen from the first person so this is but because of that poor listening uh, skill so uh, so listening skill is very important in the process of uh, effective communication and finally speaking uh, this is very 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 most important uh, skill in the process of uh, communication skill in english language okay so i will uh, i would like to say you one thing about myself mujhe ek baat aap se kehni thi ki ek mera hi aisa dost graduation level mein main jab navira padan mein padhta tha to wahan pe mera ek friend friend tha jo mujhe usne ek habit lagayi thi ek wo mujhe bahar leke jata tha ग्राउंड पे वो कभी कभी क्लासेस को भी बंक मारता था और मुझे बाहर लेके जाता था ऐसा ही इसलिए कि ताकि मैं उसके साथ इंग्लिश में बात करूं ऑब्वियसली एट दैट टाइम आवर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वाज नॉट टू मच गुड और इट वाज वेरी वी वर वेरी पुअर इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एट दैट टाइम बट क्या हुआ कि कुछ भी हो लेकिन हम टूटी फूटी इंग्लिश क्यों ना हो लेकिन हम दोनों ही एक दूसरे से बात करते थे और टूटी फूटी इंग्लिश बोला करते थे और uh that was a very nice experience uh, that uh, i have in my life that I mean, it was only because of that experience that i uh, i was able to learn english okay so uh, the, uh, this is why i am saying that um, that all these three uh, all these four things are very important and all these four skills help us to Uh, take uh, towards effective communication in english language uh, these are the five tips uh, to improve your communication skill in english uh, darnish sir shall i take uh, five minutes okay sir pagade sir okay okay thank you five tips uh, five tips to improve your communication skill in english <laughs> Uh, slow down your uh, speaking speed uh, sir uh, sorry actually um, uh, while speaking uh, in any language okay if you want to be a good communicator you should uh, uh, stop means you should give yourself a time uh, so that uh, you, uh, you you don't think that uh, you are uh, you are speaking in a speed means that uh, you are uh, uh, communicating in a very uh, good way so it is not the uh, thing you should uh, you should you must slow down your uh, speaking speed uh, you must use your uh, words uh, phrases carefully uh, so that uh, your communication will be effective then uh, give yourself time to think uh, obviously when when the people in front of you or the listener in front of you is speaking uh, you must uh, you must uh, what we can say that uh, listen to him and then you must give yourself a time don't think that the listeners or the audience in front of you they are uh, in a hurry to hear you uh, this is not the case uh, because um, uh, uh, it may uh, lead to the poor effective communication okay so uh, it is important that Uh, you should give yourself time to think and then uh, speak with uh, a slow down uh, speed okay listen uh, learn to listen as we have already seen this and we have uh, already talked about it uh, learn sentence not only words uh, so here i will say that uh, most of the students uh, most of learners of english language uh, they uh, when they starts learning english language Uh, they starts with the memorizing words okay so what happens that uh, when we memorize that words or memorize those words uh, one habit we should form that uh, we should uh, use that words or um, we should use those those words in our uh, sentence so that uh, we will be able to understand how to use those words in our language uh, this is this is very important thing Uh, that's why uh, only learning word is not important uh, using that words into your sentence uh, that is very important thing um, finally produce 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 uh, 
this is the uh, this is uh, about the writing okay produce 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 means what that you should write and you should uh, you should produce something constructive uh, from uh, your uh, writing uh, if uh, this will happen so obviously uh, effective communication will take place what you need to do uh, for uh, effective communication in english uh, to develop the art of communication in your mother tongue if you want to a good communicator first of all you must be a good communicator in your mother tongue that is very important thing uh, it is not necessary that you should uh, di directly start with english language if you start with uh, uh, your mother tongue and if you start uh, to be a good communicator in your mother tongue that will be enough uh, because later on you have to master your uh, you have to master the english language if you want to uh, be a good communicator in english language uh, so first uh, and first priority should be given to the to be a good communicator communicator in your mother tongue if you are unable to uh, be a good communicator in your mother tongue then how can you be a good communicator in the second language so that is most important thing that first uh, you must try to be a good communicator in your mother tongue uh, what is necessary uh, in the uh, process of uh, good communication that is making an eye contact your eye contact uh, should be good uh, body language uh, voice tonality these all the things are very important for uh, effective communication and for learning these things you need not uh, require uh, sorry you you do not require english language to master these uh, uh, these uh, for these three things or four things uh, for uh, good communication okay so uh, uh, once you master sorry once you become a good communicator then you have to master the english language okay uh, it will definitely be helpful to be a good communicator in english so uh, for english to learn uh, what habits we should form uh, see uh, personally i think that uh, uh, we should form the habit of uh, uh, practicing speaking in english language okay uh, while uh, about reading you should read already i have mentioned that you should read uh, newspapers Uh, you should read uh, uh, 15 to 15 minutes daily if you start uh, reading uh, at the initial stage uh, so it will definitely be uh, beneficial for you uh, then uh, you can uh, uh, write something uh, one more thing i would like to say here that uh, if you like to see movie or to watch movie see that uh, when you are watching the hollywood movie okay just below the screen there are uh, there are uh, some say, uh, the, there are some dialogues uh, written on uh, written below the screen okay uh, so i saw some of uh, i i saw a person who uh, learned english language by watching hollywood movie okay i would i will not mention his name but uh, one of my uh, friend uh, uh, he he used uh this technique to learn english language so if you have strong desire so you can learn uh, english language and definitely uh, if after learning english you have to be a good communicator in english language also so this is all by my side uh, i thank you for giving me this opportunity actually um, as a resource person this was my first experience and um i uh, as uh, uh, doctor as the principal of this college doctor uh, sanjay p dhanwate sir uh, he has given me this opportunity uh, for delivering delivering the lecture uh, as a resource person uh, i would like to thank him uh, so i would like to thank uh, head of the department and um so my friend uh, deepak dharne 
for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Bagade, sir. Hello, Bagade, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Extremely sorry that uh, Rajesh Gore sir was discontinued in between and he was not able to join our meeting. But uh, he wants to share his views for five minutes. Uh, just wait for him. Uh, for, he's uh, in the meeting in few minutes. Uh, Rajesh Gore, sir, are you there? Rajesh Gore, sir. Hello. Uh, you are in meeting. Gore, sir, you are in meeting. Speak. Share your views with us. हाँ गोरे सर हाँ बोला आता गोरे सर बोला हेलो गोरे सर यू आर अ मूड फ्रॉम योर साइड यू आर म्यूटेड फ्रॉम योर साइड गोरे सर प्लीज do properly. हाँ गोरे सर हाँ आता बोला गोरे सर ये तो आवाज़ तुम जाता बोला Sorry for the interruption. You are not able to join. So we are. Thank you, Sanghananda Bagade, sir, for your speech. I am also thankful to Rajesh Gore, sir. Uh, but uh, so due to some interruption, uh, we are not complete to his speech. Sorry for that. And. Uh, Sanghanath Bagade sir has provided his views and he has uh, shared the importance of communicative English, how the communicative skills are very important to us and uh, how these skills can make our life, life complete. So thank you Sanghanath Bagade sir. Now I will come to his speech of chairperson Dr. Sanjay Dhanwate sir, um, the chairperson of today's uh, webinar. Dr. Sanjay Dhanwate, sir. Audible, sir? 
yes sir you are audible good morning everyone inaugurator of the today's one day state level webinar on the community to english skill in english my friend dr kapil singhal hod pgdt vasantrao naik institute of arts and social science nagpur resource person dr rajesh gore associate professor head of the department of english toshniwal arts commerce and science college sengao resource person professor uh, sanganand bagde assistant professor in english rashtrapita mahatma gandhi arts commerce and science college saouli our iqc coordinator <coughs> dr avinash kadam coordinator of the arts faculty my colleague dr ganesh mohod uh, coordinator of webinar dr mohan mende sir and co coordinator dr deepak dharne all the researchers professors all students warm good morning it is very pleasure that resource person of the two days webinar to the light on the very important topic to develop our personality i think communicative english communicative skill is very important to have our special place in society it will help to teachers and students and society also after a globalization in 1990 world is a contact with each other and depends on each other there was a exchange of everything like a trade culture literature everything is <coughs> exchange after globalization while dealing with all all this we need a common language that can understood by everyone due to the imperialism of english people or britishers this language reached to every corner of the world so this language is used in modern world it is necessary in our life it can be understood but not easy to speak so this webinar is a need for the our in fast changing world of technology i hope it is useful for the researcher philosophers and students also thank you very much thank you sir for your valuable speech you have given us an importance of uh, spoken english and communicative english how they are essential in our life uh, and for your valuable time and uh, for your cooperation uh, uh, by department of english thanking you sir thank you sir uh, now the last part of the this webinar uh, out of thanks